guys, welcome to this episode of Montana Haven, Alaska edition. I hope you enjoy the process as we work on our roof and continue to try to get that knocked out. We've got a couple nice days, so we're looking forward to getting a lot done. All right, it's another wet and rainy day. So we can't work on the roof, so we're working on the outside, finishing the burning and uh, just kind of cleaning up. We got, uh, Sent the boys down yesterday with David Raber, the guy that's helping me to get for a couple days to get that lumber. Uh, it's gonna be a fascia. And then we're gonna be building some frame walls inside underneath there today. So I'll frame that in and uh, we can do some framing. So that's what we can do on a rainy day. Okay, I went down to the lumber supply and this is a good portion of our framing. Actually, probably not nearly enough, but enough to get us started at least on the inside. So we're gonna carry this inside now and get started on some of that while it's still raining out here. Just check this out. That looks beautiful. I'm just amazed how nice that looks. That looks just phenomenal to me. It's burnt and then sanded. That is gonna look so beautiful. I'm amazed actually how nice it turned out. Much nicer than I actually thought it might, but that's just perfect. So nice. Okay, I just stopped in. I haven't been here for I don't know how many days. <laughs> I stop in every once in a while, but I haven't been helping. But let's see what the guys are doing. Okay, so what we did this morning, because it's raining out again, is we got this all framed up, and we had to put extra um, bracing in here because right up in here, this area up here, for a very special reason. Because we're gonna have to hang all our uh, animal mounts that we get up in up there. So hopefully this will be a full of dal sheep and caribou and things like that, wolf maybe. So we're gonna do that on both sides. And the outside is almost done now with being burnt and sanded and oh, it looks so good. It was a lot of work, uh, but we're getting close. But it's just still pouring rain yesterday and today, so we couldn't do anything on the roof. But tomorrow, uh, it's supposed to be just cloudy. And then next week, Monday and Tuesday, we have nice days, so hopefully we can get the roof dried in by then. So that's what we're doing. I am really loving how this looks. I am loving the color of it. And I wasn't very sure about it when Joas wanted to do it, but it is looking good. The guys get so dirty. <laughs> up there slapping on the tongue and groove decking we got all that framed up we got all that framed up behind us last night the boys finished that up and uh we're gonna get this tongue and groove on in short order It's lunchtime and we only have this tiny little section left to do, otherwise we're almost done. Oh, I think that's why it's saying it's lunchtime. We're gonna try to get this done, but when Wyatt says it's lunchtime, it's lunchtime, so we better go. Okay, Wyatt made a swing. He wants me to go check it out. Oh, I just noticed that somebody was stashing some chip bags there. Probably full of treasures. Full of water, actually. Okay, Wyatt, where are we going? Way back in the woods somewhere? Okay, he must like to swing way back in the deep woods.
Having trouble getting on there, Wyatt? Can I help him on there, Ethan? Nice, Wyatt. Push him a little bit, Ethan. I think we need to trim some of those branches, Wyatt. There you go. There's a homemade swing if I ever saw one. Nice. Okay, we're going to uh, cut the ends of our plums off <clears throat> all the way around, make everything square. <laughs> What do you think, Abby? <laughs> Look at this. Relief have showed up once again in the form of my wife and some fraps. Yeehaw! Thanks, babe. Just when we need it. Okay, we've got this uh, all cut off nice and straight. Now I gotta blow the sawdust off of here. That's how you clean somebody's hair. Give them a bad hair day. Ethan's actually sanding the ends of these pearls a little bit, making them nice and smooth. Okay, now, next, we're gonna take this rim board right here that we dragged up here. We're gonna put it on the edge right here. What's up, Chloe? Feel this. Ooh, did you make it nice and smooth? Oh, nice and smooth. Very nice. Okay, I just had to get these two. They're busy making things. Not sure what they're making, but they're doing something interesting. Wyatt, what are you making? I don't know. A box? What? A box? Sort of. What are you making, Avalon? Uh, squares. <laughs> okay, I gotta point out something. I cut off these purlins pretty straight I think and uh, Ethan just got done sanding all these ends now we're burning them to make them kind of have this look I think that's gonna look pretty nice actually Gives us a little bit more space to nail our OSB on, and uh, that's going to be 
the top, uh, the BCIs that we're putting on our, our rafters up here are going to be even with the top of that. And then when we sheet it, we'll have a little bit better grip uh, to nail the sheeting onto that, as well as it overhangs the 7-8 so I can, I'll be able to nail my fascia right into that. So it kind of is a two-fold purpose. Here are why it's helping me mark off for our joists, our rafters, PCI. <coughs> okay, there we are. This side marked off. Okay, so it's about six o'clock and we pretty much got everything done that I thought we would get done today, <clears throat> but we're still, the guys are start, decided to get some of these BCI rafters up here yet, so we're still going to, I think, get all these rafters on tonight on the back side. It's supposed to rain tonight, so we want to do that, and then we'll cover it. So it's looking good. I'm really happy. We got quite a bit done. We are right now. We put all the, um, the tongue and groove on and, and the 2 by 4s and now we're starting on the on th this right here. I forgot what the what it's called. So yep. There's Chloe and Avalyn and Justin are nailing um the um these things down yep. and my dad and david and ethan are getting those things and putting them into place all right we got all these bcis on and got the bottoms nailed off just and ethan are nailing the tops and now david and i wearing my hat what a guy. We're going to go and start, see if we can get rim on that and start playing with that over there a little bit. Probably quit in an hour or so. We're kind of pushing, uh, I don't know, an hour and a half before dark or so, maybe two hours probably still. Okay, we just got done here, nailed all of them. Now we just have to cut the ends off. We're trying to put this rim on the bottom so we can finish this side here. It's kind of technical finishing these last little pieces. Okay, well, it's Friday night and this has been a week. What did we start off with? We got, when uh, David came on Monday morning, we uh, started burning the logs, or we, we had started already, right? We started burning yeah, the logs and just then started. we, and then uh, finished burning it. David sanded everything. The boys sanded a little bit, but David did most of it. And uh, I acted like to help with that, but I didn't, I got tired of it pretty fast. <laughs> No, David is amazing. I'm so utterly grateful. David's been here all week. He'll be here like Monday and part of a day Tuesday. And I bet you we can almost finish the roof by then. So we got all the tongue and groove on today. My goal, we got actually more than done than, than I thought we, we might, which is amazing. But we worked long. We, we uh, left the house at, or the RV at 6.30 and now it's 8.30. So that's 14 hours later. That's quite a bit. Um, anyways, real grateful for David and Justin and Ethan. They did great. Anything to say about it, David? Um, not too much. Um, I think uh, I won't probably ever help on a, on a um, burning a house again. Unless it's his own house, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. It looks good. <coughs> it looks really good. It looks amazing. Yeah. Yep. Did you have fun, Justin, Ethan? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what did you enjoy the most of it? Um, probably putting the tongue and groove on. Lunch. <laughs> Today was a blast. Uh, it was yeah. it was nice today. The sun shone and got even uh, Wyatt and Avalon and Chloe were around here and they pestered us a little bit and helped some, brought us nails and things. So yeah, just awesome. Glad to have it done. Priscilla wasn't able to help. She's kind of taking care of the house and we're getting ready to move into a rental probably mid next week. So she's kind of getting prepared for that and uh, getting the school 
uh, homeschooling stuff kind of prepared and getting that all rounded up. So anyways, we're going to have some fun tomorrow. We try to always take off Saturday and rest Sunday, do some fun things Saturday and sometimes Sunday and, and recuperate. And then uh, part of the reason why we came to Alaska, don't want to work on Saturdays and for sure not Sundays. So um, we'll have a good time. Not sure what we're going to do. Maybe we'll go to the fair or go hiking or something. Um, we'll come back Monday and keep work on the roof. Check it out. Look at this rainbow driving home from work and the sun's just setting behind us and so we had to take a little side detour so we could get away from everything and get this in a little bit better. That is so pretty. Oh, so beautiful. I love it. Yeah. And now the rainbow's behind us and so look at that view. Oh, that is just crazy nice. Now that is just crazy. That is just crazy, crazy beautiful. Wow. Just stunning. That's the most beautiful sunrise we've seen since we've been in Alaska for sure. Um, just keeps getting better. right now beginning of September now we came back to the RV and Priscilla made a feast as she always does in this super tiny little space and tell us what the menu is babe there is mashed potatoes and gravy and salad and sourdough dinner rolls and some brownies of some kind it looks amazing and we are so hungry because it's really late <laughs> oh there's a the big pan of biscuits i think i'll just give you each one nice okay so much for the weekend all right it's a good morning it's monday morning it's just starting to get daylight we're here at the crack of dawn and uh gonna get started on this thing hopefully we can get it all ready for spray foam by this afternoon and we got more rain coming this week the only nice day looks like so hopefully we get it all done and ready for the spray foam so he can get get that done when he's get which gets a chance he can actually work under tarp so he might end up doing that so we'll see but we're gonna get started here get our part done at least We're down here getting our electrical set up. And Justin just drilled the hole. Ethan and I are laying out with these lasers right here. Make sure we get everything in the right place. Uh, ceiling fan here in the main living room.
Tucker working on the roof. But um, right now we're, we put in all these boxes for the can lights. They're electrical boxes and we're wiring them together right now. Um, Avalon and Justin are cutting them and then we're gonna stick them in the holes. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, here is our roof. It is like 9.30 at night. The guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, we are all ready for the foam guy to come tomorrow morning. We plowed through, we got it done. Justin and Ethan, David Raber, and it is quite late and we're putting tools away, but we can get it foam tomorrow, insulated, which is absolutely incredible. I don't like to pull long days like this on and on, but it's supposed to rain again tonight and the rest of the week. So there was, this was the only nice day we had and somehow we're gonna have to get, get it spray foam tomorrow. He's gonna probably work under a tarp as he goes uh, if it rains a lot. So anyways, we're all ready for him. I didn't do a lot of videoing simply because we just worked like crazy men just to get it all done. We got basically all, when we came this morning, well, what we got done today with this whole side of the roof the other side right there. Uh, we put all the rafters up and there was a lot to do with that. And we did all the electrical, the entire roof as well, as far as, as well as putting in a couple of bathroom fans, uh, a chimney box and yeah, just a lot of stuff. So, yep, it's a good feeling to have it done. They did great and uh, it's Monday night. We're probably not gonna start as early tomorrow morning because we are all ready for them. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, cool. We showed up this morning and the power guys are here unloading the transformer. They say that uh, I should have, we should have power by the end of the day, which is pretty amazing. Very cool. And they're really going for it. They're already spooling out cable. Very nice. Some heavy duty cable right there. It wouldn't you know it, there's more of that clear wet stuff coming down from the sky. And we got our uh, insulation guy supposedly showing up here after a while. Um, I think he's gonna have to either work on our tarps or it does look like it's gonna slow down or stop hopefully around noon. So hopefully he can, he can jump on that. Then it's gonna resume again raining after about four o'clock. So maybe he'll get, be able to get it done in that time frame. We're just gonna work in the rain. We're gonna get started on this fascia up here and get done what we can get done. Putting on fascia right now. We're slightly burning them before we put them up there. Kind of give it a cool look there. Rain or shine, keep rolling. But this side of the house almost knocked out with the fascia here. Let's go check up on our power guys, see if they're, they know what they're doing. I got a suspicion they do probably, but probably okay to just let them know I'm watching. Pretty big excavator for such a tiny little trench. Wow, that's shallow. Looking good. Yeah. Spray foam guys just arrived and they're gonna start spraying here shortly. It's all ready for them. Here's a little bit of the chimney thing we gotta finish up yet. And that's the last piece of fascia for this side of the house. Now we only have this 
front side left to do. And they're spray foaming. There's our trailer just belching diesel smoke. Got this yet left to do fascia and then we're done with the fascia for another hour and a half. Actually the sun came out which is awesome. Relief has arrived once more. Yay. It's time to check out, see if it's if they're hap if it's happening up here. Looking good. That should keep us warm this winter. We've got our own spray foam in Montana, but obviously couldn't bring it up here, so getting this guy to do it for us. Looks like he's doing a fine job. Five inches of spray foam. going on right there hallelujah that looks beautiful to me and it had been raining so the foam guys had to get off the roof but it just kind of stopped again so hopefully this will do it they get back on there Looking good I like it I like it a lot Getting the last piece on on this yep. side. Okay, boys, nail this thing. Huh? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Good thing we didn't nail that. Why? <laughs> what? You know? Okay. Well, you got lucky. You almost nailed it shut. It's dark, it's late, probably 9.30, who knows what time. Yep, Justin, Ethan, Wyatt, and David, myself, we got this thing done. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, I'm so happy, and we only got a little bit of rain today. Now it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you. Okay, this morning, we are here at a family restaurant in Wasilla. Hey, Wyatt. 
And uh, we wanted to uh, take David out for uh, one more time before he leaves. David is leaving today, uh, going back to Montana, and he's helped us out so much. We're just extremely grateful. We wouldn't have got the roof done without him. So just a little uh, something to do before he takes off at about noon today.